good, it's your girl combined. I'm a 2017 double XL freshman. Whoa, whoa. In the Bay, everybody just like kind of poised, bossy, stand on their own too, do it by their own means. Get it, hustle. I feel like the music is a soundtrack to that lifestyle of growing up independent, hustling, and getting it. You're gonna hear it in the culture. I started remember when I was like eight or nine years old. Just listening to like people like Bow Wow and saying as a kid, like, oh, you can do it, I can do it too. Fuck it, let's boss up. Started making music, and once I figured out I could rhyme and keep it lit, I forced myself to sit at a table every day for months just to learn how to write bars. And once I figured out I know how to do it, I never stopped. When I was nine or 10, I got my first record. It's called Shine. You'll never hear it, I hate it. When I dropped Shine, it just taught me how to structure records cohesively and make it sound good. There's like a mental trap in the bay because like the hustle is so independent that you can sell like 100,000 out your trunk. So you be begin to depend upon that factor versus becoming national and worldwide. So it makes it like a double-edged sword on how to make it out the bay. So how I stand out from anyone else is that I see the benefits of the machine. I see how to help you in the big picture and the long run behind that versus just settling for circumstances. When I dropped my first mixtape, I didn't think it was gonna be as well as it received as it was. And it was like frightening for me, cause I'm like, I'm not technically ready cause I'm in here drunk every night, making all these records just to make me feel good cause of what I'm going through. Are they gonna understand that? Are they gonna understand like the productions and the differentness of the records that I'm putting out? So when it started getting well received, it kind of scared me. So I was like, yo, I didn't expect all this to happen that fast. But I feel like it was just destiny. So I'm impressing it. <laughs> yeah, when I dropped the Good Night in the Ghetto, it was just, you know, well received more than I thought or expected. I just was recording music to make me feel good and make other people feel good. So it became a big thing. My biggest thing when I started recording it is to make sure that it sounds reasonably as normal as possible versus me sounding like I'm not from where I'm from. So I feel like that's what makes me stand out. Like it's not like an Oakland artist sounding like an Atlanta or Chicago artist. It just makes me pop. I feel like I'm different from everybody else because I stand out when I walk in the room and then when you listen to my music, it doesn't sound like anything that's out right now. It just has its own little aspect. The whole package and it's just different. Oh, IG's like my big brother, you know, we have the same management. We like get together, kick it, kick game, kick play, and just bounce ideas off each other and just keep each other focused on what matters. Something people don't know about me is that I like to listen to pop music. Like, I'm influenced by pop music and pop culture. The three people I'm influenced by right now in pop culture is Chain Smokers, Zara Lawson, and I'm little George. I like the music. What I'm working on right now is my sophomore project, Don't Ever Get It Twisted, and building my brand and shooting visuals and just expanding. I feel good to be a double XL freshman. I feel blessed. I feel honored.